So now that we have filled up the component list, we need to fill up the property method. The property method, well, essentially just the method that will be used to model all these little properties. For instance, the relationship between methane and ethane, how they interact, their activities, who has it is, viscosities, densities, all that physical properties will be modeled with this method right here. So let's go here. This is our component list. The next step is to fill method list. Sorry, the method. And well, let's say you don't know. For instance, in this case, we do know that we need to use Peng Robinson. Here it is. But let's say you don't know. So let's go to the method assistant. And the method assistant will help you to choose the best method for this property. So let's say you can choose between the process type or the component type. I will choose component type. We do know this is a hydrocarbon system, so let's choose hydrocarbon system. Do we contain petroleum assays or pseudo components? No, we don't. So yeah, Aspen recommends us to use either Peng Robinson, which is the one which we will be using, the Suave Radley Huang equations, or the Lee Kessler Parker. Anyway, you can choose between them. I'm going to choose Penn Robinson. If you have any doubt on what does this model do, well, essentially, the vapor mixture will calculate the fugacity coefficients, densities. Enthalpy, entropy, Gibbs free energy will be calculated with this. Also, the fugacity coefficient, as stated before, the activities, and so on. So let's go and choose this. Penn Robinson. This is here. And you can see it will choose all this data but we need to continue and run the method because actually the method requires the parameters we can still add the binary interactions by let's say by hand type it one by one but this is the software simulation magic we just click here next and as you can see the method run the interactions for us so we have all the interaction between them let's say the oxygen nitrogen interaction, benzene nitrogen interaction, toluene and methane. So all these little compounds, instead of actually we putting all the data, our method has worked it all for it for us. So you can see we have all blue check mark. We can continue to the simulation environment and start working with our flow sheet.